A week into the invasion of Ukraine, the price of oil has soared, at one point on Wednesday climbing to over $113 a barrel. Analysts now say it could hit $125 soon. The fear and perception of shortage or extra or excess oil always affects the market, the price immediately. This week, the U.S. and 30 allies pledged to release 60 million barrels of oil from the strategic reserves. But the world consumes about 100 million barrels a day. So the move has done little to slow prices. If the United States was to end all Russian oil imports, it would mean the price that consumers pay at the pump would go up a lot. But nevertheless, there's growing calls in Congress for President Joe Biden to do exactly that end America's reliance on Russian oil. On Wednesday, Biden was asked about that option. Nothing is off the table. Western oil companies such as Exxon, Shell and BP are pulling out of Russia. Exxon ending operations and a $4 billion investment at a Russian oil and gas facility. Shell canceling a $3 billion joint venture with Russia's Gazprom. All this after BP announced it would pull out of a 19% stake in Russia oil company Rosneft, a deal valued at $14 billion. Analysts say the Organization of Oil Producing Countries, known as OPEC, could have done more to prevent the current crisis. One of the key reasons why we are in this supply, in this very tight supply condition has been OPEC unwillingness or inability or most likely combination of two to deliver the supply that they promise month by month. This is a dramatic moment for world oil supply. And likely the market won't stabilize until the uncertainty of war ends. Gabriel Elizondo, Al Jazeera, New York.